we're now on the five day desert tour through the Sahara Desert in Morocco. So excited, it's like so beautiful and we're currently visiting like a small village here called Ad Benadu and this is where many many great Hollywood movies were filmed like Alexander and Gladiator. So this is another episode apparently of travel gone wrong. So as I told you earlier, like we booked this five day trip through the Sahara Desert only to find out that this trip does not exist. Like we started on the tour, everything was fine. And then we started talking to like the guide and stuff. And I was like, no, this is like a three day tour. And it was like, well, we paid for five. <laughs> and then it was like back and forth and we called the place where we booked it. And um, by the way, we booked now a hostel. It's called Sun Hostel. Do not book your tour there. Like, they're just going to sell you anything, I feel. I think it's probably best if you book your Sahara tour somewhere in downtown in the Medina of Marrakesh in one of the tour shops where you can buy directly from, like, the agency. Because, like, through the hostel, it was just a pain in the neck. And now we're kind of... Like, we had the choice of either doing, like, the three-day tour, going back to Marrakesh and hopefully getting the rest of our money back, or going straight back to Marrakesh. So we decided to do three days, go back to Marrakesh, hopefully get our money back. And then we're gonna come back to Wasasate. That's kind of where you would have seen like some of the last footage that I would have just shown you. Wasasate was basically one of the main reasons I wanted to do this because it's famous for its movie studios because many, many famous Hollywood movies were filmed there in the studios and I really wanted to see them. I wanted to see the museum. Well, you got like 15 minutes in town just to kind of like it was just a bathroom break, basically, and I was really disappointed. So we decided to do three days, go back to Marrakesh, and then just get the normal bus to Wasasate, and then travel to Fes from there after we've done all the things we wanted to do. Like, the whole thing is a really big disappointment. We'll see how the rest of the tour goes, if it's all right. You know, like, I'm sure we'll get some nice desert footage, but it's just not really what we signed up for. And we're, thankfully, in a fairly nice hotel now. Only downside is, like... The room is freezing cold and heating. Like, we could get it, but it's expensive, so we probably we won't. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Right now, we are in Dadis Gorge, so we're probably going to explore that a little bit tomorrow. But I've got the feeling, like, because, like, three days is really, really crammed, we are just going to be driving a lot, because that's also why I wanted to do the five-day tour, to avoid, like, all the driving. But, yeah, I think it's just going to be a whole lot of driving, unfortunately.
just arrived in the sand dunes of Musuga. We went here on a camel ride, which was really, really cool. Like, I haven't done that in a long time. Like, last time I did that was in India two years ago. And it's really nice, except for, like, I feel like the animals, like, there's an issue there because, like, I saw at least two camels that were kind of bleeding, like, kind of on their nose or near their nose, and that was kind of a bit disturbing. I don't think I'll do any more camel rides because, like, I'm a bit concerned about animal welfare. Also, if you're going to Morocco, I think it's actually a really good option to rent a car kind of on the outskirts of Marrakesh and then do the desert tour on your own. I wouldn't be comfortable driving, like, in the big cities of Morocco. But once you get outside of Marrakesh into the desert, it's like there's no traffic. So actually, even I think I'd be fine with it. So that's kind of my suggestion. If you are going to Morocco and you want to do a desert tour, just DIY it. And that's probably much more pleasant because like at the moment, we're just sitting in the bus all day. And that's just not what I really wanted out of this trip. So yeah, my recommendation is just rent a car. Change of plans, we decided to actually stop in Wasasate on the way back to Marrakesh because like when you stop there anyway, why go back to Marrakesh and tomorrow come back here. So we just hopped off the bus here, booked our own hotel and we're going to do our own sightseeing here before we catch a regular bus back to Marrakesh tomorrow. And the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go to the film museum, like the cinema museum here in Wasasate. this could be used like as a film set for like ancient Greece or ancient Rome like it really looks like it I guess this set over here is kind of if you're filming inside a cave. Here is the movie set dungeon. You can see basically the cells behind me. And kind of like there's like a chains where people were locked up, so that's quite interesting. Place. unfortunately like they don't have any sign saying what this stuff actually is or which movie it's from like for some props they have a description but for most they don't so that's a bit of a shame but other than that like it's a really great place so if you come to Morocco I definitely recommend visiting weirdest thing about this place is that all the houses they look like sand castles like all of them it is ridiculous like it looks like like some bad movie set but this is actually the houses people live in it's amazing it's the next day and we are on our way to the atlas cinema studios this is where lots of lots of movies were filmed there's two film studios out there and we're going to visit both of them and going to show you all the important props and everything
props, but there's unfortunately no kind of sign saying what they were used for. Could have been Gladiator, I'd imagine, but no clue. recognize any of the sets here from one of the movies you've ever seen please let me know in the comments because like there's no explanations here and I just I don't know I can't figure out which movies things are from here so if you know let me know in the comments my friend's saying that she thinks that the set here is from the movie Asterix and Obelix I don't know if that's really like it was Oh, when was that film like I don't know 15 years ago with Shirada Padieu let me know if you've seen the movie and if you agree hall full of Egyptian pillars like it's amazing it's huge and so beautiful This scaffolding was used in a movie for like the construction of an Egyptian temple? No clue. And then here we have some stairs leading up to nowhere. Okay, so the stairs are leading up to this little balcony. I don't really want to step on this because it all seems a bit fragile. But you've got a nice view. Now this looks like a set to like an, I don't know, for like an ancient village maybe? I don't know, it's really interesting. set is huge like we've been walking around this for like five minutes and there's no end to it this is massive
was used for the movie Ben Hur 2010 and this is kind of like where they were sitting and throwing so I got some chains on now and the ship obviously is not moving because it's not water but they kind of had lights and they moved the lights around so it looked like the ship was actually floating on water and very interestingly like this ship actually like it's in two parts like this is like the main body of the ship and over here it's just kind of like the top bit on front like what the heck so this thing behind me is also used in Ben Hoi it's like two guys on it and then they're kind of like they're actually in a pool and there's two other guys beneath it and they're rocking it back and forth so it looks like they're floating on water and this costume over here apparently is from Gladiator so that's really cool here we have some props from Seven Years in Tibet was used for Gladiator and apparently Russell Crowe was himself in this cage. All of this here was used for the Alexander the Great movie. Here we apparently have the cross from Passion of the Christ. Have not seen that movie and will not see that movie. One thing here is really interesting, so all these props here were apparently used for several movies like they were in King of Heaven as well as Alexander the Great. So a lot of this stuff is actually being reused. now was used for many many different movies it is also being used for Game of Thrones and apparently yesterday was closed for visitors because there was like some new TV show but Jesus that was being filmed here and so nobody could go in so but today it's open is absolutely massive and I just can't wrap my head around it that it was only built for like movies. How crazy is that? You can see the castle from the inside. It's really like, it's amazing. Like, just think about it. Like castles, like in Europe, they're all made of stone and they're really solid. And this is kind of like a hollow steel construction. Really amazing to see all these filming locations and especially like this kind of paper castle. Like, I mean, what the heck? Like, just amazing. Tonight we are going to head back into our cash and we're going to try and get at least some money back from our tour. Like, I mean, really disappointing we didn't see all these amazing sites on the tour because that's why you go here. 